New at six, nearly three years after the state's worst mass shooting, 26 people dead in Sutherland Springs. A new documentary is in the works. It's titled Miracle on 4th Street. It could be out early next year. The filmmaker says it'll be about those who miraculously survived the attack by the shooter who later took his own life. Jesse Degriado says it'll also be about the hope and strength of a devastated but tight knit community. Since what became its own day of infamy, countless stories have been done about Sutherland Springs and the more than two dozen lives that were taken during a Sunday morning worship service. Except now, documentary filmmaker Charlie Men says by interviewing those who live to tell their stories, his approach will be different in what he's leaving out. The film is extremely survivor driven without one mention of the killer. Calling it one of the most tragic stories he's ever come across in terms of the number of children killed, Men also has spoken to parents who were willing to relive that day. But that day is always going through my head anyways. So at least this way, everyone can know more about Haley. Her 16-year-old daughter Haley, who she just dropped off at the church her daughter attended twice weekly. The young girl who wanted to become a nurse in a neonatal intensive care unit. I just deal with everything day by day. <laughs> That's all you really can do. By hearing their stories and that of heroes like the man who opened fire on the shooter and then got in a truck with a man who chased him down, Min says he wants the audience to have a deeper understanding of what happened in this church and the lives that were forever changed. Tremendous emotion, tremendous motivation and inspiration, hope and recovery, um, healing. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.